Here, give me a second. <laughs> a fart master. Wait, what? Wait, wait a minute. What? What's up, bitches? <laughs> Why are you here? I don't know. That's a great question. Hang on. <laughs> All right, let me use my actual microphone for once. Here we go. Unless we want me to sound like refried garbage the whole time, which is fine, honestly. What happened to Fart Master? What happened to him? I think he had a heart attack. Put Bailey's in my coffee. Hold on. Oh, Bailey's nice high five. <laughs> oh, proud of you. <laughs> What's going on? Is ever, did I ever decide to get roasty toasty and I didn't know? I've had a week. I decided to take up drinking again. <laughs> Hey, sometimes you just gotta be an alcoholic, man. That's just yeah, how it be. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it do, it do me like that. Are we good? Are we starting? Are we good? Is we good? Are we going? I don't know. I don't know. Are you are you going? What's going on? Where's PM? Are we all recording? I'm recording. I don't even have Audacity open yet. Calm down, fuckers. Hold on. What's Audacity? I just got home. Dude, oh shit, hi, Meddy. Hey! How you doing? I'm good. Kinda. <laughs> I guess. I'm drinking. That's good, right? Uh... Uh... Sure! Yeah. It's good if you want it to be good. Please be safe, PM. <laughs> Listen, Jordan. He's at home. How much more safe could he be? Uh, wait, wait, no, uh, knock on wood, I'm sorry, I jinxed you. He both, lost but, He yeah. lost a tooth in his own home. Yes, I yes, I am aware. Stairs. It is not funny, but also. It's not funny, but it also is kind of funny. That's a, little a horrible, to horrible thing to happen, but also oh. vengeance. Yeah, it's karma for, <laughs> for the years of, of calling him Medi Ruthless Toothless. Now it's my turn. It is. You are the Ruthless Toothless now. Why do I have oh, a boy. page open on the McDonald's wiki for McStuffins? McStuffins? Is that a thing? It's because it... you were trying to look for porn. What the f Hello? Are we doing you that for that chips? McStuffin? Ooh. No, that doesn't exist anymore. That, oh. that existed in the 90s. It was just like hollowed up bread they stuffed things in. Oh, see, I was thinking it was like, like turkey stuffing. Oh, that... Turkey stuffing from McDonald's would be terrible. Yes, exactly. Oh, God. That's why they would do it. Hello, everyone. And welcome to another exciting episode of Dipships, the totally legitimate boating podcast. I, as always, am your captain of Calamity Carl. And joining me, as always, my wonderful co-host. Sorry, I had a burp in the middle of that. My wonderful <laughs> co-host, uh, Rear Admiral PM. Yep. I'm drinking. Uh, Ensign Jordan. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jordan. Is Final Fantasy XIV open right now? <laughs> no. Okay. And in a surprise twist, Manager Meddy is here. I exist for once. Executive what is producer this? Meddy is here. Does, I'm does also he, sick with the COVID. Does Does he not have like an actual like boat title? What do you mean? Is there executive producer? Okay, but are, are there executive producers on boats that run boats? All right, then. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't... Maybe? I mean... I'm not going to say I've been thinking about this a lot. Okay. But I've been thinking about this a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have a title in mind. No, Boat Swain was... That's like... 
That's like MPM. That's he's he's Ship right? to get the bottom. That probably work. Ship right would probably work. Yeah. They 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 produce boats. Also, I I've been meaning to ask this since episode one. I know I'm late, being episode thirteen at all. But mm-hmm. why am I admiral of the rear? Why not the whole thing? Why not the front? Uh, why the rear? Well, because is it because I'm the fart master? <laughs> Is that why? <laughs> hey, look, you said it. <laughs> you are the fart. He master. said it, so we didn't have to. All right, uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you two about. Well, I think I already told Medi. I gotta tell you two about the text messages that I received from our good rear admiral PM. Yep. Literally throughout the, the week. <laughs> Friday, December tenth. Hey, bud. Good luck at work today. Thank you. I hope you have a decent time at work later too. Sent an audio post. Let's see if I can. (laughs) 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 Almost collapsed at work hearing that in my ear. (laughs) Then said, I'm glad you liked it. I have like 15 more. And then what did I do? (laughs) No joke. I have (laughs) 19 other ones. 19 i think i sent you more i think i think you have like 30 at this point i i do you sent me up to 32 today (laughs) (laughs) there's so many my favorite hold on this is my favorite one (laughs) (laughs) that was the black hole that was the black hole (laughs) i was gonna send it to kz just like i need you to hear this one that sounds like you fucking imploded Just no context. <laughs> Send him farts. It's so fucking funny. So let's see. Uh, I have, Ugh. I have sent Carl up to thirty-two because they're all numbered. Um, oh, Jesus. I I have thirty-eight total on my phone right now. Oh God, I'm such a child, but I don't care. Look, a long time ago. I promised Carl that I would I would record my farts and start sending it to him. And months later, I'm finally making do on my promise. Mainly because I found the voice recorder uh, app on my phone. Uh, and I'm like, oh, well, so, and it's easy access. So even when my phone's locked, all I need to do is press two things and I'm recording. So in the middle of the night. Or like the middle of the day, I'll I'll be sitting on my desk and I'm like, oh, I feel one brewing. A storm's approaching, <laughs> and I whip out my phone. As Carl put it, I, I put it in my cornhole and uh, and I record a funny little uh, I record a funny little bit for him. Oh, this is the worst. I was like, are you like shoving it right in your cornhole? He's like, it's the only way it picks up. Carl, uh, play play number three. Oh, Label vo- voice voice zero play, zero three. Play it off, Paul. Number three. Let's see. <laughs> it's one of my favorite. It's not like Donald Duck. <laughs> oh, 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 let me click so one of these newer ones. ones. Let me click twenty-two because it's off on its own. Let's see. <laughs> All right, that's less funny. The magic is leaving. Oh. It left my body, that's for sure. The, uh, some of these are, are your substandard farts. Some of these are really good. Oh, like, well, I think one? it was that's this one. Th- this one, PM's just like, I'm not going to make it. I'm like, what? I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I made it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I, I said I wasn't going to make it because, like, I, I had the phone up to my mouth when I hit the record button, but it... Like the fart was right at the chamber door. Like it was coming you out at any get second. To the ass fast so I, I was worried that I couldn't make it to my ass fast enough, but thankfully I did. Oh. <laughs> oh, welcome oh. to our totally legitimate boating podcast. Of course, we're here to talk about boating. Uh, but how's everyone's week going? How's everybody doing? I've had uh, I've had a week, and that's why I'm drinking. Mm. I want an explanation for that immediately. <laughs> like. You go first, PM. Oh, as as for it's been like one of those just like shitty, like nothing necessarily bad happened. Well, uh, okay, my food did get run over uh, yesterday by a car. <laughs> okay. Every week? No, not every week. Some weeks have been okay. Uh, yesterday though, so after I finished recording the Nuzlocke with KZ, 
Um, oh, I should note that during the Nuzlocke with KZ, the entire day had been so fucking windy that we were getting like borderline like tornado warnings. It was that it was that windy. Yeah, same here. Um, so at some point during the the Nuzlocke, I hear something crash outside, something big and metal crashed outside. When I eventually went outside later, I couldn't see the damage that was caused, but damage happened outside somewhere in my uh, neighborhood. Um, but yeah, it was really windy and really bad to the point where I told KZ, we should keep this session uh, short because my power could go out like any minute now. And uh, thankfully, uh, we we did the recording fine, no problem. Uh, like not even 15 minutes after I finished talking with KZ, my power goes out. So like, thank Ooh. thankfully, no, no, nothing was lost. Uh, no footage, no, no save file. So I'm, I was without power for like an hour and a half. Oof. Uh, and, and not just me, my entire, entire fucking neighborhood. Like I went to 7-Eleven uh, to grab something to eat, but they're like, well, we're closed because we can't, we can't do anything. No transactions can happen. Like we can't open our registers and we can't have you tapped uh, to pay for things. So we're just closed. Um, so I'm like, great, what the fuck do I do now? So I decide for my cheat meal, I'm going to order Domino's. And unfortunately, it was from the same place that uh, I ordered the last time where the dude fell over a dog and uh, flipped my pizza upside down. And Are you I still had being no ghosted pizza. by them. Uh, well, they took my order this time and my order did show up. Uh, but here's the here's the problem. Uh, once again, I need to reiterate. It was very fucking windy, so mm -hmm. windy that when my uh, when my delivery driver came out of his car, the wind pushed him over and knocked him out on his ass. He dropped my food into oncoming traffic and a car ran over my food. <sighs> the dude gets up, doesn't even come to my door, just grabs his bag, goes back into his car and leaves. Uh, I don't get a phone call. I don't get a text. I don't get nothing. But thankfully, about 40 minutes later, th uh, another uh, delivery guy shows up, calls me, says, hey, your food's here. Uh, I'm downstairs. Come pick it up. I'm like, oh, well, th thankfully, they remembered this time. Uh, but they didn't. They they said, sorry, it took so long. We were on uh, like we were super busy. We had a lot of orders. Sorry, it took so long. Like bullshit. You're the food got here like r relatively on time. It's just uh, the wind knocked this fucking uh, poor guy out on his ass. It was funny though, except that for the whole my, um, my my food getting crushed. But I got my meal. My balls. I'm glad you got your meal. Uh, as for what else happened this week, um, so I I clean a school part time. I've I've mentioned this before. Um, I tweeted these pictures out not too long ago of just finding random shit in, in the toilets. So first off, there was the pencil. Well, yes, oh. shit goes in the toilet. Oh, well, oh. no, no. F first, first there was this pencil mm -hmm. and then, um, then, uh, what else was there? Oh yeah. There was a whole fucking roll of toilet paper in a, in another stall. And then, yep. This is where I think I'm getting targeted. Like, this is a personal attack. Just a little post-it note that says your mom. Doing your mom. On it. <laughs> your um, mom. So that was last week. And this week, I just find this in, in one of the toilets. Somebody just took a toilet brush, the toilet brush, wrapped it in, I assume that's paper towel. I don't know why that's fucking orange like that. And just left it there There's for me to take care it. of it. It could be dookie on it. Uh, I don't, I've never seen Dookie that color. Not fucking neon orange like that. I have. The diarrhea Dookie. Okay, so, I kind of lied. I had two cheat <laughs> meals this week. Oh. On, on Thursday. So well. On Thursday, uh, I had Chinese food, right? So, so here I am, sitting in the school with my Chinese food. Do you notice anything strange about this picture? At all? You're in a classroom? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm in the school that I clean, so it's not right, that strange. Yeah, but, but wouldn't you be eating in, like, an office and not in a classroom? There are no offices. There there are only classrooms. There's no custodian office? No. My, uh, my, 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 uh, my little, like, office where I hold my things in is the server room. 
where they keep all the internet uh, and and shit uh, in. And there's no room to sit. It's literally the servers and my mop bucket, and that's it. That's the that's usually, the whole room. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, usually the custodians have like an actual office. Nope. To like put not, their shit in and not, stuff. Not well. I have a room. It's yeah, just I mean, not a room that unless I want to sit in my mop bucket while I'm eating my Chinese food. <laughs> Do it. I'm not doing that. Do it. Um. So you don't uh, don't notice anything strange about this picture? Uh, you got a lot of. Actual Broccoli. food, and you don't have a shit ton of rice. Uh, I don't like rice. Dude, so, the Chinese food place don't care about that. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I asked for not rice. I asked for double broccoli instead of rice or double That's meat. Um, oh. So what's wrong in, in this picture, I zoomed in for you uh, mm -hmm. so, so you can see. This was on the chalkboard. <laughs> on the whiteboard. <laughs> I, I was eating my meal, and I looked up. And I see that in the distance, and I choked on my food. And and I'm and I'm I'm not kidding. Like this wasn't play choking. I started choking on my food, and I had to like self Heimlich because I, my oh, wow. my oxygen was literally cut off. I could not breathe. Uh, I'm still here, so uh, clearly it, it worked out. Uh, but yeah, that happened. And uh, th the, th those are both my cheat meal stories for this week. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you didn't die, I think. Did you did you draw a little traitor stab in the Amoogus? No. I, in fact, cleaned it off. I oh. did also walk into a classroom this week and saw an Amoogus just on a, a board. This is actually the second Amoogus that I've seen at work. The, the first one I didn't get a chance to take uh, a picture of. Those kids love their free-to-play Battle Pass games. Holy shit, they do. Such Wait, Among Us has a Battle Pass? Now it does, I think. Oh, yeah, oh, they wow. added Battle Passes. But you get to pick your battle pass. Oh, okay. Was that your Was that your whole week, PM? Uh, pretty much. Like, what did I do? Oh, I started playing a, a game called Archvale. It's basically um, Nuclear Throne meets uh, The Legend of Zelda. It's it's super cool. It's <laughs> good game. It, it's it's got a uh, Enter the Gungeon type of vibe to it, while hey, also so being. Hmm. I was gonna say. So, which part of which part of your week was the one that made you start to drink? I just told you everything. Was it the choking? Yeah, uh, the, the me almost dying, uh, just having a, sh a shitty days at work, um, and also just a, a, a feeling of uh, I would rather not be so sober at the moment. Well, that's really sad and also completely relatable. Yeah, exactly. W wasn't there something else? I mean, no, that's pretty much it. Some Some kind of heist? That you had to coordinate? Medi, you're assuming huh? I'm a criminal. I've never done anything wrong in my life. You can continue oh. to say that, but the evidence proves the uh, the opposite. What was in your walls? Oh, my walls. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I don't know. There, there's something <laughs> living in my walls. Yeah, I was in... So I live in a two-bedroom apartment, uh, and I was in my, my second bedroom. Um, I, I mainly keep that bedroom as like a, a guest bedroom for whenever family shows up. Mm -hmm. So I'm there chilling out with my cat and I hear something coming from the wall. And now I assume it's just the downstairs neighbors doing whatever. Right. But my cat is fixated on the baseboard of, uh, of that, uh, of one of the walls. And she's like fixated on it, like ready to attack. And I'm like, okay, no, there's something in my fucking walls. And I have no idea what it is. Like, I've I've lived in places that have, like, mice and roaches and whatever. But the noises coming from inside my wall sound like ping pong balls. Like, bouncing off a table. But they're coming from inside my walls. And my walls aren't thick enough to be holding a, a fucking ping pong tournament in there. Uh, I've heard it for, like, two days in a row. I, ha I have no idea what, what it could be. Uh, if it continues, I'm going to contact my landlord and be like, hey... We, we, we got a rodent problem or some sort of problem. So, yeah, that's the, uh, those are the things inside my walls to be to, to, uh, determined. Well, I hope that it doesn't die in the walls before then. Oh, I mean, if it does, then problem solved. I mean, then you got to deal with smell. Stank. Got that nasty rot stank. Mm, I get But if it's trapped inside the walls... 
and it being a tiny little body like that, I, I assume it wouldn't stank that much. Oh, trust me. If you've never smelled a dead Whoa. mouse, you don't know the half of it. I guess I haven't. Because, boy, how do those little fuckers stink? All that built up gases. Oh, do you guys want to see my cock? Pardon? You want to see my cock? Sure. All right, cool. There you go. It's my, Hell yeah. it's my big cock. That's it's yours? You own it, that? Why is it I mean, so blue? It's, it's, it's in my neighborhood. It's a style choice, Jordan. You could you can it's tell cold out, Jordan. You could tell you could tell it's mine because it's it's Portuguese. Or at least half. If you're if you're cold, you're he's right. cold. Let him in. I mean, if I knew how much that thing weighed, I'd attempt to steal it. I'm not a criminal, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me let me tell you about my week. Oh boy. I got a new chair. Hey. It's nice. nice. It's 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 uh that uh, League of Legends Riptide one, right? Not Pike, Riptide, not Riptide. Pike. Why do I keep saying Riptide? Because oh, it's, it's a better name. It, it's also like a, one of his cards in fucking uh, Runeterra. Yeah. It's a nice chair. It's very comfortable. It's very nice. That was the only good thing about my week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and regale us in the bad stuff, Carl. Oh. Well, two of my coworkers tested positive for COVID. Oh, right. Yeah, I saw that. I found that out Friday. Uh, the one who first tested positive came in Thursday. Just like, yeah, I won't, I'm not feeling too great. Like, you didn't think to go get tested just in case? Because you said you weren't feeling great Wednesday either when you showed up. Infected one other person in our building, potentially more. I don't know yet. No one said anything. I'll find out tomorrow when they tell me we have five people out. They should have just fucking stayed home. I know, but you know, it's that, that mindset of just, I got to keep working. I got to keep working. He has like five jobs. America. America. Uh, we've had concerts all week, basketball games all week. Uh, police again showing up just to just to check the building every single day. And I'm like, why, why, why are you all here? Are you walking the whole entire department through this extension, bro? Yeah. I'm, I almost blew up a vacuum. How? What? Um, there was a block in the vacuum. Like there was a piece of paper just blocking everything up, and I did not know. And I'm just sitting there vacuuming my carpets. So I'm like, this thing isn't sucking as good as it should be. And then I stopped sucking things. And then I smelled burning rubber. And I went, oh, that's not good. Uh oh. So I had to stop it and rip the whole thing apart to find like the whole big clumps of dirt and dust and leaves and papers that like got sucked up and stuck inside of it. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. So someone had used it before I did and got it all blocked up and didn't bother fucking checking anything, which was awesome. Right on. <sighs> oh. Does it, does your job only Sorry. have the one vacuum? No, there's there's multiple. It's just this is the vacuum for my section. Oh, uh, okay. Uh what else? Uh Tuesday I Tuesday I got a No, not even Tuesday. I think it was Monday. I got my uh Verizon like my internet update upgraded. So I have like uh almost three hundred up and down. Nice. Oh nice. It's uh, I envy, powerful. I envy that up. It's uh it's very good, let me tell you. Uh the two people up showed up. Nice. There's there's two people who came in. Uh they came and looked at the box. They're like, Alright, we gotta, you know, replace it all. One of them went up to the roof on their ladder. Unscrewed the bits on the outside, popped everything out on the inside and everything. Got it all taken apart. They sit down in their cars for about 15 minutes or so. I'm like, are they going to come back up and finish this at any point? One of them, because uh, they put cones out by their cars so people wouldn't try to go near their cars. Uh, one of them grabbed his cones, uh, put them in his car and then drove away. All right. I did not see him for an hour and a half. Okay. His partner sat in the car for that hour and a half. I sat at my window going, when are you going to finish? I need to be in at work before three o'clock today. It is now two. Okay. But are they doing stuff outside or are they literally nope. just sitting in their trucks? Just, just sitting in the trucks. Well, the the one is sitting in the truck. The other one drove off somewhere. I didn't know where. Oh. Hour and a half or so later, the other one comes back, comes upstairs, 
drops in a new box and goes, yeah, I had to go over to this other box, like out a ways, like the actual main box mm -hmm. on one of the poles over there to uh, fix up your internet connection. Apparently, whoever uh, set it up before had it uh, all wrong. Oh, so we had to fix the entire box. I went, okay, that's cool. So it's all fixed now and working, right? And he's like, yeah, it should be. Went into my room. Internet wasn't working on my computer. Reset the computer. It worked fine. I went, oh, okay, okay, good. Everything's working. Everything's good. Another they satisfied say, customer. Mm -hmm. They go, have a nice day. I go, yes, you too. They leave. Uh, I'm at work at this point. It was like a couple hours later. My stepdad texted me. Why is Verizon telling me they're coming by tomorrow? I said, what do you mean? They came by today. They said that they are done. He said, well, I just got a text saying they're coming by again tomorrow. So I said, well, maybe they're going over to the box on the pole to like do more work on it because they mentioned something about that. And he went, oh, yeah, that makes sense. The next day, <laughs> I'm woken up by a phone call. Hello, this is so-and-so from Verizon. I'm outside your house. All right. Uh... What do you mean you're outside my house? Everything was fixed yesterday. Everything is fine. I go downstairs. The man walks over to the gate and he goes, hey, yeah, um, I... I connected to the network. Everything seems to be working. Is everything working up there? I went, yeah. And he goes, oh, why was I called here? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. I don't know, bud. Why were you called here? Another satisfied customer. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, all right, have a great day. And he takes off. I'm like, sure, dude. All right. Sure. Okay. I would I would kill for 300 up. I'm not I'm not lying. Uh because what what was my fucking speed test that I Where do we put that? Oh yeah, fucking boardwalk our fucking food shit. I don't understand the purpose of all of these channels where we just cuz we uh, we have boardwalk, right? And I and uh our boardwalk section of our Discord is specifically for food things. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. in there is us having random conversations about not food, fucking uh, uh our our internet speed tests and Carl's chair. Literally <laughs> everything is in every fucking uh channel that we have here. Yeah, we forgot that we weren't in the podcast general. I was like, "Oh, well, our hour-long <laughs> conversation the other day in notes uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm paying for. I'm supposed to be having fifty up, but for some reason I'm barely reaching twenty. Uh, meanwhile, I have almost seven hundred down. I'm like, please, I I would like over a hundred up. I would like to stream at a decent bit rate. You should complain about it. I have, and they just They're keep telling me you. to upgrade to like fiber. I'm like, no, that's expensive. That is expensive. You should complain about it more because you're paying for it. I should. Become the inner Karen. I believe in you. That's true. So, Friday, we had the basketball game going on. We had three people out. I was told, all right, well, Saturday, when you come into work, you have to do that section and also take care of basketball practice and also take care of the coat drive going on. And I went, you only told me there was basketball practice. I didn't know about this other thing. Okay. Glad you, to know that now. You said coat drive, right? Yeah. Okay. I For a second, I thought you said goat drive. <laughs> like, oh shit, they're racing goats? Come bring your goats over. Uh, we'll Please race them in the... donate your goats to the less... <laughs> donate your goats to the school. We'll keep them in the stable up by the, the field. Yo, free cheese. Y'all got a field? Opulence. No. We, don't, we actually don't have a field. We have a sh shitty little dinky patch of grass. Y'all got grass? Did you know that schools are legally required to have, like, a, at least a patch of grass of a certain width and length? Yeah. I didn't or? know that, actually. Wow. Yeah, they, they, they have to. It's, like, a law. I just assumed because every school that I went to had grass. Yeah. So I just thought it was, like, an aesthetic thing. So two of my coworkers are off on the side. That's when we found out that, uh... One of the the guys that was out had COVID. I was like, guys, all right, all right, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Um, left work a little early. I got to leave an hour early because uh, I was coming in early the next day, like 7 a.m. So I had to be up at like six. Got home, went to bed, got up, went right back into work, did all of my work. One of the the teachers 
or the teacher who was in charge of the the coat drive when i'm like when everything's done i went up i had to do one of the other guys sections i got that all done i went down to the gym i locked up the gym i shut everything down i went down to the coat drive everyone left except this one teacher it was about 12 o'clock i was like all right i have a i have to meet my sisters and my mom <clears throat> and my stepdad at this seafood place for lunch because it's my mom's birthday this guy at 12 o'clock goes, all right, I'm going. I'll see you later. Go, all right, cool. Wait, I forgot my keys. Oh, where are your keys? Uh, they're up on the third floor. Why are they on the third floor? That's Sir, where you his desk not, is. I'm like, yeah, it is. But I'm like, you're not, you're supposed to stay in this one area. And he went, oh, well, I also went over to this spot down by the gym. And I also went over to this classroom over here. And then I also, I'm like, why are you traveling around this building? You're supposed to stay in this one spot. You're not supposed to use all these other rooms that kids. you're using. Okay, but what if I want to? But that's that's their whole thing. Is, what if I want to? Well, they just did it. So he spends half an hour looking around for these keys before going, ah, eh, fuck it, they'll show up eventually. I don't really care and leaving. Uh, <laughs> because he has his house keys and his car keys. They're, these are his work keys. He doesn't care about those. It's not like someone could get into the building with his building key, but... It's Regardless. okay, considering the cops are there every day, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, really. So I'm like, all right, you know, that was a bit of a detriment. I'm going to go to, there's a couple urgent care places along the way to this place. I'm going to stop at one of those, and I'm going to get tested to make sure I'm not fucking COVID positive for round two. I'll walk into the one closest to my job. Oh, yeah, that'll be a two and a half hour wait. Jesus. Uh... All right, well, thank you for the info. I will not be doing that. I start calling other places along the way. Yeah, it's about an hour, hour and a half wait. Yeah, it's about two hours. It's about two and a half hours. Oh, great. So I just call my mom and say I'm not going because I don't know if I'm positive or not. I'm going to go to the place near our house because I know at the least that one will be a shorter wait than all of these. Mm -hmm. And it was. Thankfully. And she was like, well, you know, I feel bad. So you know what? I'll invite your sisters over for cake. I'll bring you home something so you can have lunch. I was like, okay, good. <laughs> she arrives home. Well, actually, my sis my middle sister arrives first with her two kids, with her my nieces. I let them in. They come up. My sister, oh, my sister, my mom and my stepdad show up. They come upstairs. And then my other sister shows up about 30 minutes later with her kid. We all have our cake and everything. We're all sitting. My nephew comes in. I want to play Minecraft on your PS5. All right. Go. Here you go, kid. I say no to him every time, and then I turn it on. And, uh, oh, shit. This thing moves. Sorry. Right, I just surprised that's... myself with my arm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the joys of a new chair. <laughs> it surprised me. I just pushed something, and it just dropped down. It scared me. Oh. But then he goes, uh, well, you're going to hear that a lot from me today. And I went, what do you mean by that? And he goes, well, I'm sleeping over tonight. And I went, okay. I'm glad that I wasn't informed of that. That's great. So eventually, his mother leaves. He has all his stuff. He's staying the night. My other sister, uh, before she leaves, points and laughs at me and goes, have fun with the kids. Wow. And I'm like, what do you... What do you? And then I realized that she left her kids here also. They were all staying over the whole night. <laughs> all three of them the oh. whole night. Do you? Are your? Is your mom even there to support? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. At least that. But you know, she still lets them run into my room, swing around on my brand new chair that I'd want them to not break, mm -hmm. slam my door open into my bookcase, knocking it off the hinges again. Uh, also, do you even know the, the the results of your COVID test? Yes, I was negative. Oh, okay, good. At least that. Thank God. At least the rapid said it was negative. The other one I haven't gotten back yet. I did both. So, I was like, well, I guess I can't stream tonight because uh, they go to bed at 7. And if I make a noise above a whisper, I'll uh, have loud pounding on my door and shut up. Don't wake the kids. You wake the kids. I'll fucking kill you. Although they got to stay up all night and uh, scream at two and three a.m. How old are your nieces and nephews? Well, they're 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 little, so I can't really blame them. My nephew's like eight. No, no. My my point is, is like, why are they being allowed to stay up that late? <laughs> oh, they weren't. They were just like, 
waking children. up randomly throughout the night like children uh, do but but also and you know screeching. like the parents leave uh, the kids uh, over at gram uh, the the grandparents and they're allowed to do whatever the fuck yeah that also that is how that works uh, so at 3 a.m after going i went to bed around like two i didn't actually start like falling asleep until around three and as i'm starting to drift off i realize i never unlocked the front door or and i never locked the front doors at work uh -oh. They're still unlocked, wide open. Anyone could walk into this building. Yeah, like the cops, right? And I have a panic attack. Uh-oh. And I do not get any sleep the entire night as I debate whether or not I should go in to my job at three in the morning to lock these doors. Well, I mean, if you if you ended up staying awake all night anyway, you should have yeah, you well. you just gone. <laughs> It's all right. I got up at like seven. I drove into work. I closed everything. I got stuck behind every single person who decided they wanted to go 20 miles an hour. And when I'd cut around them, another person would pop out of a side street going 20 miles an hour. New York sounds ah, like a best. nightmare. So, you know, it's been quite a time. So wait, did you actually leave the doors unlocked? Yes, I did. Oh, shit. It's all right. The, the, the inner doors, because it was just like a little, it was just a little vestibule. Oh, okay. So the inner doors were all closed and locked. The outside doors, two of them were unlocked, but no one cares to go near a building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So fortunately, no one will know. Until they check back uh, the security no, footage. Unless they check the see. cameras. Yeah. <laughs> which they usually don't do. I'm sure this will be the time that they do because, you know. Why not? Well, you could just be like, well, I woke up in the middle of the night and thought the door's unlocked and I had to check. No, it's all right. I, I got there like eight in the morning. Yeah, but you could have been there at like, I don't know how long it takes you to get to work, but you could have been there at 3.30 in the morning, done it real quick anyway, be home before four, and then had a, a, a rest of your night's sleep. PM, have yeah. you ever been in a dark school building at nighttime? Well, if it's if it's the front doors, then you do you even I, need to go inside? I can't open the front doors without the alarms going off. Oh, I have to ew. go into the building to turn off the alarms. And when I went in Saturday uh -huh. to turn the alarms off, they the second I walked through the doors, the alarms in the back started blaring. They've never done that. Mm. It's always been like the the box itself would do little beeps. This was like loud blaring alarms going off, and I had a fucking stroke. So wait, if, if the alarms actually went off, don't the doesn't the alarm company like call wh whatever numbers on file being like, hey, your alarms went off. Is everything OK? No, they usually wait a couple minutes in case it's, you know, someone actually turning off the alarm. Oh, OK. Well, uh, let's hope you're still employed by Monday. I will be. They'll need it because we'll have potentially five people out. And this entire oh, week, yeah, they, we have they, they can't afford to lose you. We have concerts every single night and basketball games every night and then sections to cover. And it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Jordan, how was your week? I had an okay week. I'm glad to hear it. It seems like I'm the lone lone one on that this week. <laughs> Well, I can talk about what came in today. I had a ser I had my Series X come in today. Now, you yes, sure it was a Series X and not Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. It's cur <laughs> Let me uh post the picture I took of it on my setup cuz when I realized where I was going to have to put it, I thought, "Oh, that that the image of that will be pretty funny." Uh I put it on top of my Wii U. Oh, your Wii? My woo, and in order to actually plug it in, I had to also unplug the Wii U. <laughs> Good. So now, oh so now no! Just, so now I've just got a fucking monolith. How are you gonna play Splatoon? How is there that much fucking hair on your new, brand new Xbox already? Like I can, uh, I can count cat, all of them. Jesus, cats do be like that. I have a calico cat. Oh, that explains it. I didn't know the breed. Your breed. No. And there's not much to talk about with that, cause considering I got it like half an hour before we start recording. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Jordan. 
Yeah. Hey, Jordan. But, hmm? Do you know what time it is? 6.42. It's time to pick on Jordan, everybody. All right, cool. I'm here for it. No, Jordan. Mm -hmm. I love you. You're my good friend. Mm -hmm. I care about you. You know this. Mm -hmm. You you wanted to change our whole fucking podcast for Final Fantasy XIV, you piece of shit? Not the entire podcast. Just when we <laughs> record PMVA. <laughs> you see, this... This is part of the reason why I wanted to record a bunch of PMVA in advance. Because I had a feeling that N. Walker was going to come out and something, something was going to go awry. Uh, this is why I trust you, my gut you, feelings. It's just you messaged me that and I had flashbacks to Bio just not showing up to Mill Mike. And finding out he wasn't going to be there five minutes before we started. <laughs> I have, I have something figured out, so we don't need to worry about it now. So it's like, right. whatever. It's all good. It's all figured out. I hate Final Fantasy XIV. It's ruined my life. Hello, everyone. This is your captain speaking. Thank you all for listening to another exciting episode of Dipships, the legitimate boating podcast. Uh, just going to do a couple little normal housekeeping things that we normally do around this time. Um, there's an airplane going by. I'm very mad that that's happening right now. The second I hit record for this. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at DipshipsPod and uh, each of us individually at the Calamity Carl at EXPayline and at GFPPM. And I guess at Metorman. Oh my God, what is Medi's at? Is it at Metorman? Holy shit! I forgot he was in there first. Yeah, it's at Metorman. Metor like the the Mega Man enemies and then the word man. Don't forget that we're also available. On Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and our video version on YouTube, in case you didn't know that some of those exist. There's also other places. Podbean sort of just shares us around with everyone. It's like the town bicycle. Everyone gets a ride. If you'd like to uh, send us some questions, any topics or anything like that, you can send them to dipshipspod at yahoo.com. Or if you just, you know, want to tweet them at us, again, at dipshipspod, you can tweet it each Sunday. We didn't do any for the next recording session. Because uh, we have such a backlog of questions that I just sort of went, fuck it. We have so many questions. We got to get through those before we get in any more in. Don't forget to support us over on Patreon if you can. Patreon.com slash dipships pod. I would like to thank our $10 and above patrons, such as Altos Diogenes and Andreas Rojas, Breakdown 707, Doragon 23, Dr. Perpaka the Purple Paka, Fire Trooper 113, I summon Doki Doki Rocket. Effect pay 9069 to fuck Captain Falcon. Korak. That's that's Korak. Iris Placeholder. Mop. Mr. I Like Spam. Mr. King Jacob. 9002. Ocelot. Patchwork. Shibuya Gato. Protesting the Parade of Parodius. Uh, Pad Padaroos? Padaroos. Not, Pad not Parodius. Parodius is a good video game. Please don't protest the Padaroos. And of course, a very special thank you to Bai and Frost Samurai, our $50 patrons. Fucking insane. Thank you both so much. If I can make your names different colors on the, the, the text scroll, I would do that. But it doesn't let me do that on Sony Vegas because it's a bad program. I am sorry. I've let you down. Very special thank you to at underscore Vitizen underscore on uh, Twitter. Thank you, Vitizen, for our theme song, Starbird. And for our other songs, many other songs that uh, Vitizen has made for us, such as uh, Ride of the Wave, Seaside, Appetite Delight, and a bunch of incredible songs for our podcast. It does excellent work. Please go check them out and support them. And also a thank you to Shibuya Gato and Shura Art for our art assets. Or is it Shura underscore art? I gotta make I gotta remember to put the underscores in when I say the names. Because otherwise you won't be able to find them. But thank you to Shibuya and Shura for our, our wonderful art assets. Also, you know, my Millennium Mike co-hosts, co Tee Wink Wink, and Nudge Nudge. This is our other podcast. You get to hear you get you get to hear about that in a second, though. We'll we'll get to that like we do every episode. See, so yes, the holidays are coming up. Um, the next episode is going to be the Christmas episode, although it will be coming out after Christmas. Please understand that is just sort of how the schedule worked out. Uh, be excited for the surprises in store for that episode. Uh, thank you for listening to this episode again. Just want to say that because uh, we appreciate the support a lot. 
we've we've gotten so much more support than we could have ever expected for this silly little podcast. So thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. It means a lot to us, especially PM, who was the biggest naysayer in all of this. Uh, especially MPM, who uh, PM constantly takes his aggressions out on, which is very sad. I try to stop him, but he just gets a little too, you know, he gets a little too high on that wacky tobacco and he just can't be stopped. It's really concerning. I wish he would stop doing this to this poor boy. I give him cookies through the bars of his cell every night while the others aren't looking. Yeah, that should be everything. So thank you all for listening and uh, enjoy the rest of the episode. Hello. If you're listening to this podcast, then you're either a big fan of boats or a big fan of listening to friends goof off for a few hours. Well then, I have excellent news for you. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Show has plenty of boats. And the Millennium Microphone is a podcast where four friends re-watch the show with boats and also goof off for a few hours every other week. It features that Carl guy that you've been listening to here, along with Shora, Bioroxis, and me, Shibuya Gato. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Podbean. We also have a Patreon to see how many seasons people will force us to watch, so go check that out too at patreon.com slash millennium mic. If, if you don't know how to spell millennium, that's uh, two L's, two N's, and then an M-I-C at the end. Or you could just Google us. I, I guess that works too. See you there. I'm going to talk about Final Fantasy XIV in Walker now. All right. Is it good? It's an 11 out of 10. Cool. It's maybe the best thing Square's released in like 15 years. And like, I consider that a high bar to like cross. So. How um, could it possibly be better than Final Fantasy 15? Uh, easily. That game's um, a 20 out of 10. <laughs> if you're crazy, like uh, Carl here. What do you mean? How could it be better than Tomb Raider? <laughs> <laughs> Did you Oof. say that with a straight face? I tried really hard. <laughs> I tried <laughs> really hard. <laughs> so, in terms of Endwalker, I don't want to talk about the content of Endwalker. Yeah, clearly. Just because it's like... Spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. And, like, I can just say it's, uh, it's like, the best thing the game has had so far. And people get it. I want to talk about its launch. And what it's been like the past week and a half. So, for a server-based game like this, would you expect the servers to buckle at any point? Yes. I mean, considering yeah. their player base went up, like, what, like, 30% in the last, like, couple months? Yeah, considering the biggest meme from Final Fantasy fourteen is, go and play Final Fantasy fourteen with free trial up to level 60, including these two expansions. And then people go, wait, you guys aren't supposed to all be playing it now. I want to go play it. What did you think was going to happen when you told everyone to play your fucking game? So the most bizarre thing about the launch to me is that once you're in, the game runs like a dream. The servers, and I've seen maybe three people get hard server crashed while they're in game. On the opposite end, trying to log in is kind of a nightmare still. Quite literally, they because of the worldwide chip shortage for computer parts they could not buy new servers at all like i heard this on another podcast i listened to where they told a story where yeah uh, i work at a hospital and we can't get new routers to connect to our systems so like Getting new routers to make sure that, like, oh, is the person in this room still alive? Pretty higher priority than getting new servers for a video game launch. Yeah, COVID kind of fucked the world in all sorts of ways. Because the way that the way that a lot of computer part manufacturers work is that they make just to order manufacturing, where you make just enough for like the two months or so that you. Th- out that you need and are expecting to get orders for mm-hmm. 
and then if you need to or- and then if any like more are ordered you can just immediately get those off the processing line because you're already like two months ahead based off of your estimations exactly but since covid happened Co- and everybody wants to buy everything right now 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 uh and everything's in backlog mm-hmm it's why new consoles are a nightmare to find. It's why new phones take so long to order now. It's why just any piece of technology that's like not a TV is a nightmare to find right now. Now you the see, one my you, dad you, hasn't you, come home. You no, that was that was way l- longer ago, Carl. Oh, you see, you say Final Fantasy fourteen is the best thing uh, Square Enix has put out in the last fifteen years, but. Despite you describing all of these problems, you know what game didn't have uh, any uh, kind of problem whatsoever uh, with its release? What's that? Balan Wonderworld. Came out just fine. <laughs> no, it didn't. It worked perfectly Shit, right, right out of the box. What it's, do you mean? You could, PM, right. you could PM, boot it and play, play it P- P- right PM, out of the box. PM, P- P- PM. Uh-huh. the copy out of the box would give you seizures in the final boss. But you could play it. You could play it. You could play You'd it. You have to wait six hours to get into a queue and get into the game. You could or experience you could those up, seizures could... in real time. <laughs> yeah. Or you could wake up early like a person who lives in a society. Exactly. And not, and not a little goblin. Look, I, you didn't need to wait. Unfortunately, that's like, all of the Final Fantasy XIV player base is all little goblins. You didn't need to wait 20 hours to play Bel- uh, Balan. Because the funniest part about the uh, the launch is that you can tell when people either are going to bed to go to work in the next morning or coming home from work. Mm -hmm. Because their peak hours on every server start at 3 EST and end at 2 2 a.m. EST. So, like, like if you logged in at, say, like, 11 Mm -hmm. or 12, you'd get in in, like, 30 seconds. But if you logged in or try to log in at like two, it would take like two hours. Every half hour after that, you're adding maybe like 20 minutes to your login time. 1 p.m. It'll take you like 20, 20 to 40 minutes. Uh, 5, 5 p.m. You might The game might as well be uninstalled on your computer for the day. And isn't the queue based not on time, but actual like player it's base a line. yeah it's a line you so you're waiting in line and, for people to get out of the line to be able and, to get back in and the the worst part the worst part is that because the log on from what i understand the login servers and the game servers are like two different aspects of the equation for getting into 14 i don't know why people say this game's good i usually just uh, open a game and it opens and i play it yeah because you don't play mmos um uh, yeah, because so, I play good games. You also play League. Um, I don't play League. You also play. We, we played I'm League reformed. once, like fucking two months ago, and Jordan refuses to let go that we played <laughs> League one time. We played three matches against each other. That's all we did. <laughs> anyway, so be- when you had advanced in the queue. Back when, like, the game first first launched and they didn't do, like, a hot fix to the logon servers, when you would advance, that's not you, like, getting further in the line from people getting into the game. It's them getting disconnected from the logon servers because they're susceptible to packet loss. No. I'll make you lose your packets. Yeah, I, I was seeing people on Twitter, like, Jerry rig their fans <laughs> to, like, push a button every, every couple yeah. of minutes so it doesn't fucking log them out. It's fucking oh, yeah. nuts. There's so the issue, there's also the fact that they've upgraded their time their like AFK timeout things to where if you're AFK for more than 20 minutes, you'll be kicked out of the game. I mean that sounds fair Good. to me. Yes, it's fair. But <laughs> for insane people who are like, I need to binge this now, I need to I need to finish the story right now. They need to babysit being in game all day once they're logged in at like eleven. For the well, insane people who go, all right, it's time for me to log into Final Fantasy fourteen. Put my character in this location and have them dance for seven hours straight. Like I'll actually, get you kicked. Anyone who's trying to binge the whole thing is going to call out from work and binge the whole thing, dude. 
That's what they tried to do, and then Endwalker got delayed, and they couldn't change their PTO. <laughs> I didn't, and I, and I didn't. I still finished it in four days. I feel bad. I feel bad for people that had to deal with that, but also, I mean, that's kind of funny. Can people really not just wait? No, no, because it's, again, like I said last time, it's that thing where one person will get through it and then just post all the spoilers possible in every tag they can. Yeah, but but here's the thing about, like, spoiler culture. I... I guess I'm following the right people, but I have not seen a single spoiler of it whatsoever. People use that rot 13 tag or, or bot or command, whatever thing on Twitter, uh, all the websites that I peruse. I don't see anything like even remotely close to a spoiler. So I, who, I wish I lived wherever in your you're world. looking that has spoilers, just stop looking there. Hold on. Just where? don't get spoiled forehead. <laughs> just don't look at things. I, before Endwalker launched, I still have them all muted. These are the muted terms I have on my Twitter. MHA, MHA spoilers, Thanker, Destinian, Ishtola, Alphano, Alize, Erlianje, Xenos, Graha, Fan Daniel, and Damn Daniel. Oh, oh, that sounds a lot like mine, except I didn't block Fan Daniel because I think that name's funny. I just didn't want to see, I just didn't want to see all the 14 content, and then I still see it. But I like when people talk about this character whose name is fucking Fan Daniel. Because, Damn, come Daniel. on, God. People go on, man, Fan Daniel kind of hot, and I'm like, oh, I would kill someone if I saw if I met someone and they told me their name was Fan Daniel. I would slam their head into the pavement and just scrape their face along it. It's a little dire. I think Rip. it's a little funny name. It's just one of those things where, like, okay, Carl, mm -hmm. mark when I stop talking about this mm -hmm. in the podcast. I'm going to talk about Endwalker spoilers for about 30 seconds. No, just in no, don't bring up spoilers. He's going to have to bring in the fucking robot. I hate that robot. Well, well, well. Looks like it's spoilers time once again. Skip ahead to 57, 32 to avoid Endwalker spoilers. You can avoid those the same way PM's dick avoids being seen by women. Since they'd need a microscope to see it. It's it's not so much a spoiler. It's a racist. spoiler. It's it's a, it's a spoiler. Or fourteen players know what I'm talking about. You guys won't understand. Okay. Do it. I'm waiting. Nothing in that launch trailer shows anything beyond eighty level eighty three content. That's that's not a spoiler. Which, yeah, I I wouldn't consider that a spoiler. That's, that's really not a spoiler at all. Jordan, bro, what the fuck? I have my own stuff to do, dog. I can't just come out here to announce spoilers at the drop of a hat. I have my own life, dog. It's the holiday season, my guy. I had to leave my family to come here for this. I may have missed my child's first steps because of you. I will never forget or forgive this transgression. Also, Squeenix would be stupid to actually post anything, like, actual that's spoiler like, related. They would! They that's, would! That's Go like watch. saying the new do trailer not, for the Adam Sandler movie has all the best jokes in it. Of course. Do not do not watch the uh, Neo Twoey launch trailer where yeah, they show... I was going to say, there's, there's a lot of uh, trailers they have put uh, out where yeah. it's like, here's the whole end game. It's like, what are you, what are you doing? Imagine if the... Yeah, so... All right, that's it. End of spoiler talk. Imagine if, uh, hey, spoilers for Persona Five. I guess if anyone still gives a shit because it's like been played by everyone by this point. No, uh, not imagine, me. Imagine, imagine if at the end of the game you don't care enough. I imagine I, if like the final trailer for the game was them going, "Oh, guess what? Igor's not Igor. It's fucking this giant cup." Hey, hey, hey! That's, don't that's fuck what with Persona Five fans. They haven't played their own game. <laughs> I have. Gotta wait oh. for that squid port. Hey, Medi, how you doing? Uh, you know, vibing, vibing, chilling, killing. Uh, uh, I I have never killed anyone in my life. Are we doing dip chips this week? Have, do we? Hey, we don't have anything for dip chips. <laughs> uh, we didn't discuss anything for dip chips at all. Uh, I... Yeah, actually, you know what? I remembered what I did last night. Oh? I bought something horrible from the store. 
to try and eat. Okay. All right, hold on. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Dip Chips. It's a podcast within a podcast where we eat a food and talk about it. I guess I also technically ate a thing. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got going on? Uh, me or Jordan? Uh, Jordan first, because Jordan brought it up first. All right. So I decided we have no theme for this week. I'm just going to buy the worst thing I can find in the frozen section of the store. Yeah. So I found this. The Chuck E. Cheese frozen pizza. Oh, no. I I hate the new Charles E. Cheese so much. He's the worst. Where's his hat? Where's his iconic hat? What hat? No, no Ch- Charles E. Cheese doesn't have a hat. No more. I hate change. Jordan, how was how was the Charles Entertainment Cheese cheese pizza? I took a single bite. <laughs> I gagged and threw it away. Oh, you know, I can I can relate. I bought so listen, I I I ordered soda from uh 7-Eleven instead of CVS. Since every time I order soda from CVS, they don't seem to know how to fucking get it. I ordered one from fucking CVS one time and they the fucking people didn't know to look behind some other fucking bottles to find the coke that was on the goddamn shelf. So I ordered it from 7-Eleven and went, I'm going to get a pizza while I'm doing this. I thought there was going to be like a tiny little like personal pizza. It's the big motherfucker. And it sucked. I ate four slices anyway. I was like, this sucks. Oh. I, I shit my brains out that whole day. That thing sucked. Zero out of ten. Uh, funny enough, uh, I also had a, a, a pizza from 7-Eleven. <sighs> mine, mine was uh, personal sized. Uh, it's their breakfast pizza. I actually got a breakfast picture of it for pizza? you. Yeah, it's a breakfast pizza. So that sounds a like pic- it'd be fine. Uh, so it's a sourdough crust. The pizza sauce is just butter. It's just what? butter. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's got uh, cheese, oh, gross. egg, onion, uh, red and green peppers, and uh, breakfast sausage. And it was actually really good. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't sound that bad. Honestly. It was really good. I was blown away by the butter pizza sauce. It was. It was. It's actually fantastic. I I thought it would be weird because of the egg, because there's little bits of scrambled egg on there. But no, it was actually really good. Like, of all the pizza that I've had from Seven Eleven, this is the best one by far. I'm giving it like a fuck. I'm gonna give it a nine. It was really good. Oh well, I mean Jordan, I imagine yours is a is a zero out of ten. Uh, yes. Hey, I also, how? Oh, sorry. Go on. Uh, well, this is off topic from dip chips, so you finish off. Oh, I, I was gonna say it's it's kind of funny how we had no plan and all ended up eating pizza. Funny how life works like <laughs> that. It's, funny it's how fine. Life works out. <laughs> we'll find something for next time. Don't worry about it. All right, yeah. Jordan, what were you gonna say? Uh, I don't know if I clean doo doo this week. What do you mean? I went to the bathroom on Wednesday night, and in front of the toilet, there was this, like, smushed up brown thing on the ground, and I was like, okay, and I grabbed some toilet paper, and I just picked it up, and I threw it into the toilet and flushed it. Oh, it, it was in the bathroom? smell. Yes. Oh, okay. It was, like, it was, like, right in front of the toilet. Oh, uh, that's doo doo. Yeah, that's, that's that, that, doo Yeah, that's definitely doo doo. If yeah, it was it, right I, in front, no, because here's the thing, Jordan. I used to work at a gym, and people did this all the time, where they want to shit, but they refuse to put their ass to the seat, so they they like squat and hover, and they have no idea where their asshole is, and they just shit everywhere that except right down the middle of the toilet. It's in their knee, right? Yeah. Well, it was one of those things of, like, I couldn't tell if it was, like, dirt. It was, like, mud because it had just rained earlier and, like, it had, like, grass and shit in it or if it was, like, hash browns in it. If it was if it was mud, you would see footprints leading up to uh, the the scene of the crime or other excess bits of brown stuff. Was there a trail? No, no. It was just the singular brown thing. Yeah. yeah, you clean doo doo, son. Wow, my first doo doo clean. Must Congratulations. Doo-doo. Welcome to our I world. Did, didn't even realize it was doo doo. Round of Must applause. Doo-doo. Round of applause for Jordan Clean Doo Doo. It's about goddamn time. Hey, you guys want to answer some questions? Sure. Sure. Wait, Medi. Uh, huh? What up? Uh, I don't know. How's COVID treating you? It's not actually COVID. I oh, think. okay. It's just cold. I'm being dramatic. All right. Well, I hope you get better soon, regardless. Thank you. I was, hope I get better soon too. How was your week? 
Do we ask him that? I don't actually know. Is this a permanent thing? Is he, <laughs> is he here all the time now? I, I came in here and Medi was just here. Great question. <laughs> Medi, how was your week? Anything you want us? You want us? Anything you want to talk about? Uh, no, not really. All um, right, all right. Uh, just Let's been vibing. Stupid. All right, cool. I'm glad to hear it. Well, thank you for being here finally after like fucking uh, two months or three months hey, of us we, recording. Hey, when are we? When are we? When are we, when are we yeah, paying our busy. intern? You know, it's, it's work. What? Hey, when are we paying our intern? Who? Who? You mean Jordan? So we have a question here that's been here for a while. I forgot actually to to go back to this one. Uh, this is from uh, my my pal Chills. Uh, let's see. You talk a lot about embarrassing adult social situations, especially in the last episode. This was uh, again sent in October, yeah, so wow. it was a hot minute ago. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's got me thinking about those uh, close cuts that make you break a sweat in retrospect. So, so what's the biggest figurative bullet you've ever dodged? Figurative uh, bullet? I have real bullets that I've dodged, and ones that, and ones that I've hit. Uh, he gave uh, a. a a sort of example of when he was younger and called a girl cute at a party without realizing what it meant. And she screamed and ran away and came back and said that he was also cute. And he realized what was happening and didn't know how to defuse the situation. So he threw a basketball in her face and ran away. Uh, <laughs> what? Like kids, That's a good kids example. Bleed, like kids do. Metaphorical bullet that I've dodged. I don't think I've ever dodged a bullet. I think, well, other than the real bullets, uh, I think every bullet that has been shot at me ha has hit. I th can't think of think anything. Most of my relationship nearly, ones. I think I nearly got into a major car accident like two and a half months ago because <laughs> I got I got fender bendered on on like a exit on the highway. And then just immediately was able, and then like the light turned green, and I was able to just speed off. Jordan, so, I I think you're the worst driver because I feel <laughs> I feel like I've heard so many incidents of you in a car. Like I I'm I'm afraid to get into a car. J Carl, are you that, letting him? Like that, that, yeah, Jordan. Hey, after all these stories, you're yeah, not going you anywhere near the car. You're not going to make it that's, home or to Florida. That's like the first time I've told a story where I've been driving. And it wasn't my no, fault. No, you also told us that you drove off fucking road one time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And you told us about how you killed those old people and they gave you beans or something. <laughs> I didn't. That, I, I, I was five. <laughs> Who lets a five-year-old drive? I wasn't driving. Yeah. Uh, we have a question from Arch Greed here. Uh, I'm going through the, through the Yahoo first. Of course, that's uh, dipshipspotatyahoo.com. Oh, actually, I just realized a bullet that I dodged. Yeah. Um... Okay, so while sending Carl my farts via text oh, message, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, yes. I, this I, was the heist I was referring to earlier. I yeah, I had forgotten. Uh, I accidentally sent a whole bunch to my mama Duke. <laughs> I said <laughs> I, I sent like eight farts to my mother. And I'm like, oh god, oh god, she's gonna cut me out of the will. So, uh, in a panic, I, I just I just called my pops and be like, hey, where's mom? And he's like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I think she's in the bathroom. Okay, do me a huge favor. Go grab her phone. I, I, I sent her a text. Delete it, please. <laughs> please, please, please. So so thankfully he did. He, he, he got to the phone, the, the, deleted the text that I sent. And uh, I'm still in the will, thank, thankfully. <laughs> thankfully. That you know of. That I know Christ, of, that I'm that aware of. of. I was probably removed like years ago. He probably only deleted one and she has the, the seven others waiting. No, I sent them all in in one message so gotcha so not to just like fill up the feed <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh these questions from art creed uh will you do a podcast collab with the mega muffin assassins hey we have them right here Medi, how's it going who w was what you were you in know, that too i was that's a deep fucking cut of an old group channel we tried to start at one point as a joke <gasps> oh team Straga. yeah that Remember? whole muffin thing had a name yeah. It was just yeah, a the, video of you crushing a muffin. Yeah. <laughs> the Mega Muffin Assassins. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the entire reason you asked Muddy to be here? No. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> yeah, but no. He also loves me. Uh, Archgreed also wanted... Those are best uh, friends. Also, also wanted PM to pronounce uh, a couple of words here that I have written down. Oh, boy. Okay. What do we got? I think you know most of these, actually. Uh, okay. 
Mm-hmm. Incomprehensibilities, indulgences, mm-hmm. or indulgenceness, Worcestershire. Yeah, they they misspelled indulgences. <laughs> Indul- <laughs> Indulge scenes. Wider shins? Yo, yo, th- that boy got some wide shins. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, heterochrony, unprecedented. I think uh, that's also misspelled. I think it's supposed to be heterochromia. And I'm not going to pronounce that last one because it looks like a slur. <laughs> or no way. My- uh, okay, if you say so. I, I don't know. Sure, whatever. It? I'm not, I'm not Let's doing Google it. it. Are uh, you sure it's not a adjective slur? adjective meaning of or relating to the day before yesterday? It's a time slur. I think I did pretty good. Slur. Those damn pasties coming in here are ruining our day. <laughs> what? Shut up. We have a, qu- <laughs> we have a question from Mark. Uh, Hi, long-time Mark. sailor, Mark. first-time troller, had a couple questions from my favorite boating podcast. Uh, any chance of an Azure Lane sponsorship? That's Everybody that mobile Markiplier. game. Who? Oh, is this a Markiplier bit? No, uh, I hope not. I just heard, I just heard the name Mark and oh. into a friend. You just friendly. went to Mark and played oh. psychopath. Do you do that if you meet someone named Mark in real life? Like, yes. hey, how's it, how's it going? My name's Mark. You go, hello everybody. <laughs> this is Mark Applier. Yes, luckily I know nobody that is named Mark. <laughs> you, you, you see that? That's a Zoomer reference coming out of him. Uh, meanwhile, I quoted the room and nobody heard it. <laughs> oh hi, Mark. Yeah, exactly. How's your oh, sex hi, life, huh? Uh, potentially, if Azure Lane wants to sponsor us. And the second question is, uh, thoughts on the Philadelphia experiment? Can the U.S. Navy turn ships invisible slash teleport them? What are you talking about? They already do. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure that that exists already. Well, the whole thing about the Philadelphia experiment was... We have... Hey, guys, we have, like, six questions from Ultra Fan Dan. <laughs> Ultra Fan Dan, back at it again Ultra- with the bangers. Ultra Fan Dan asked, hey, some of the best questions... All right. From Ultra Fan right. Dan. <laughs> Don't even think he listens to this podcast, but thank you for the questions. Appreciate it. What do you mean? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I read one of those questions, and that, and because of one of those questions, it it's clear to me that he doesn't listen to this podcast. But go on. Let's hear him. Mm, okay. Uh, the first question. A favorite role played by H. John Benjamin. I don't know who that is. Is the voice of Archer. I don't. The voice of the coach in uh, home movies. Mark oh, that, that one then. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I love the coach in home movies. I'll say it's a Bob Belcher and Bob the Burgers. Jordan? I said my answer. What was your answer? Archer? You can go back and find it. <laughs> Fuck. He, he, he didn't say shit. No, I did. Markiplier? <laughs> I'm gonna, Mehdi, what about you? Who? <laughs> Next, Next question. Next question from Ultrafan Dan. <sighs> Uh, greatest generation of games. Hmm. Hmm. I'd say the current one. Either sixth or eighth, I'd say. Which is the current one, eighth. Well, past now. Okay. Now, are are we saying the best or our favorite? I'd say favorite. Just because it'd be more varied. Then if yeah. I, if I'm going by my favorite, I'm going to say like... The PS2 slash GBA era, because yeah, when when Game Boy Advance was at its height, they were like there were so many bangers out for the Game Boy Advance, and they all looked yes. really fucking good. I miss the sprite styles. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next question: Most you've ever felt pandered to, and how gross did it make you feel? I don't think I've ever been pandered to, not to my knowledge, anyway. I've had I've had people in the past who try to uh, butter me up and be nice and oh, give gifts and things like means. that and okay. uh, uh, and then they would uh, see that I'm in a call with KZ and they would be like hey add me in hey I want to go to talk KZ too add me in because we're friends and I'd go no we're not now you're removed from my list and my life it's happened many times All right but hey you should add me to a call with KZ though no hey I could answer in a really dark way but I won't. <laughs> well, now, okay. I, now I need to hear now it. Now I want to know, yeah. Now we can cut it uh, out. I want to hear it. I'm just going to type this. Okay. All right. The coward's way out. Aha. <gasps> uh-huh. 
Oh, okay. <gasps> hey, don't worry. I knew one of those two. Yeah, same. <laughs> Wait, did uh, I did I know this person also? No. Oh, okay. Now I'm just sad. Uh, yeah, mood. Let's move on. Uh, yeah, I figured. Uh, All right, cut that out. Uh, if you had to choose between being in a nautical podcast full of eccentric boat enthusiasts or in a boat full of eccentric podcasters, which would you choose? A uh, boat. Yeah, same. Uh, yeah, boat. I I think that's a safer bet. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather listen to someone who's very uh, passionate about boats than someone who's probably going to try and sell me on fucking NFTs. All right, but listen, NFTs are the future. <laughs> Do you see? Everyone's just like, we're not going to drink Pepsi anymore because Pepsi's doing NFTs. We're going to drink Coke. And then Coke went, hey guys, guess who's doing NFT? Seriously? Like, come on. Yep. It's all corporations, baby. It's all one big money game. <sighs> uh, the next question of the six you have to eat one of your co hosts. What will be your last words to them? Big dog's got to eat. Mm. Well, who are you eating? Probably, well, mm, probably Jordan got less wrong with his body it's mean but you're right you know i was about to say well i ha i i'm easily the lightest one here but then you just said that i would eat carl because he's pre-seasoned with all the with all the crap that he eats <laughs> i'm marinating <laughs> you're marinated um, that garlic bread flavor <laughs> and my final words to carl would be Pass a sriracha. Uh, Carl, because he's got a whole ass pizza on his chest. That's true. It's true. It's it's true. Shape, yeah. You gotta, shave, you gotta shave a lot of that hair off. Carl, I, I never commended you on this, but what a fantastic job with that thumbnail. When I saw that thumbnail of a, a pizza worth of nipples, had me on the floor howling. <laughs> <laughs> I almost threw up, not gonna lie. And then my final words would be, what would you do if I landed in New York? <laughs> Cool. What would you do if I... <laughs> Freak. Uh, the final question from Ultrafan Dan. Uh, do you all fear drowning? If not, have you tried it? And this <laughs> this was the question that I was referring to about Dan not listening to our podcast because he should know because I've told it on the podcast already that I have drowned. And yes, I still do fear it. I have to. A, a kid at a a public pool one time pushed me underneath and held me under for way too long and I almost drowned. Uh, I fear dr I fear drowning because of a incident. Florida trip. Oh. Yeah. Sure. What was your incident? I was just uh, saying I was going to do that to you when, when we meet in Florida. I got trapped under like a big ass like floaty at a wave pool like eight years ago. Holy you shit. Actually, it. the same thing happened to me. Like when I was like huh. eleven, I was at a a place called Wild Water Kingdom, and there was a giant wave pool with like way too many fucking people in it. There was like two hundred people in there, and I was uh like diving underwater, and I got trapped under uh, underneath somebody's fucking um uh inner tubes, uh and uh like my only saving grace was that my brother came looking for me at some point, and and he saw me stuck underneath the the. The, the inner tube, and he told the fucking fat ass to move. Yeah, wave pools are dangerous. Mind if I... Go ahead. Was it Action Park? Uh, so yes, actually, it was at Action Park. <laughs> yeah, how did I know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... It was at a wave pool in Action Park. <laughs> what is wrong with wave pools? <laughs> They're killing everybody! <laughs> Uh, Wave pools kill more than cows every year. Didn't you know that? Well, now I know. That's probably true. It's probably <laughs> true. Wave pools kill more than sharks do. So, I lost my footing or something, or I slipped too far, too deep when I was too young, and I couldn't get above water long enough to breathe, and I ended up grasping at this one lady <laughs> who I didn't fucking know, and I remember she said, well, I'd help you, but you're not my kid. And she pushed me <laughs> off of her. That's so fucked up. That's really fucked up. Yeah. And uh, my grandpa was able to grab me in time. And 
Uh, he said some words to that lady that got us kicked out of Action Park that day. <laughs> it's probably for the better. Oh, well, yeah, it's Action Park. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Like, I ain't no lifeguard. I don't get paid for this. Yeah, you ain't my kid. Which, uh, fair, I'm not her kid. A Chaos Bug asks, a favorite LP slash stream moment you guys have been a part of? There are a lot of moments in... To, to this day, out of all the Nuzlocks that I've done with KZ, my... <coughs> sorry. My favorite was the second one that we ever did, which was um, Heart Gold. I still think about this moment to this day where I'm about to fight Faulkner and I'm complaining to KZ saying, I want to fight the trainer so I can be a little bit more prepared for Faulkner. And and he's arguing with me about it and he just tears ass. He just fucking rips one uh, loud enough to be able to, uh, to hear it on the recording. <laughs> and we fucking howl laughing. I, I think about that to this day. It was it's one of my favorite moments in LPing that we've done. Also, uh, Carl, get out of the dressing room. <laughs> yeah, that one's also good. Uh, this one. Oh yeah, <laughs> that one's really good. You want to describe it for the audio <laughs> listeners? <laughs> for those who uh, who uh, don't see, it is a uh, a clip from Casey's stream of Mario Party where Jordan gets knocked violently off of a cliff in the snowball game and screeches very loud and it's a very good clip but the best part is somehow i don't know how i did it my audio fades out with donkey kong yeah it's really good uh <sighs> one of my favorite ones is probably the uh, one with pm honestly and uh my ultra moon lp where we ran into a uh a room in the team skull base oh the santa <laughs> And a fucking deli bird popped down in the fireplace, and we were like, "What the fuck?" And PM's yelling at me, "Fucking catch it! What are you doing?" You you yeah, you it. just stood there, fucking gobsmacked. When like, how how is your first instinct not run to the fucking chimney and and try to interact with it? How how? Come on, man. I, I was I was caught off guard. I didn't expect it, and then it zoomed away, and you shouted, "You just let Santa go." You ruined Christmas that year. That one and uh, that one time I showed up in KZ stream on my uh, in in my car <laughs> with the car audio, and me and Sky did a fun little back and forth. I was like a, a soldier going to a Burger King. Oh, dip! They forgot the onion ring. I enjoyed that bit also. There's also the live cheat meal, though. Yeah, the live cheat yeah. meal is also good. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's uh. That's not one of my favorites. <laughs> Why not? Uh, probably because of the poison coming out of me for the next couple of days. I also got a, I also got a warning from Carl. Apparently, what? What do you mean? Oh, don't talk about that now. Oh yeah, I, d I did, I did indeed warn both of you of a, uh, uh, of a uh, things to come. Oh right oh okay. you got one too p.m yeah yeah carl messaged me a couple hours ago <laughs> say if if anything shows up in the mail wait for the podcast like oh okay good <laughs> i can't i can't i can't wait to fucking get poisoned on the podcast again <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to the anthrax i get in my mail oh i said it was rat poison <laughs> i hate getting cum in my mailbox i don't next question uh Dark Die Sigma asks if uh, Manager Medi were able to get a Dip and Dots Dip Ships collab, what flavors would Carl Jordan and PM bring to the table? Oh, I would want mine to be like cookie related. I actually never had Dip and Dots. Dip and Dots sure. is like the 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 Dip and the Dots. Right? I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. Oh, the Dip and the Dots. I don't know how to describe it. It's, yeah, it's... They're the little like ball thing, the little ball ice creams. Yeah, that you, like, okay, scoop okay. Up. Um, I want a toffee, or no, a butterscotch cookie, uh, Dippin' Dots. Hmm. So, it lo like, you got some butterscotch balls, and then you got some cookie balls. <laughs> I've seen maybe, like, some peanut butter brownie. Ooh. How about you, Jordan? Jordan's dead? Uh, cookie oh. dough and caramel. That, that's also good. That's, they do have is, a, is, uh, a cookie that, dough flavor. Isn't that just what I said? <laughs> isn't that, I, 
I pretty much I pretty much said exactly what you said, Jordan. No, you said uh, you said butter something. Yeah, that's caramel. That's caramel and cookie. Oh, oh, <laughs> always always stealing bits. Can't come <laughs> up with a fucking thing on his own. Just needs to rip off of other people. So, Maddie, yeah. when are we when are we doing that uh, dip and dots promotion? When's that? Oh uh, well, uh, you see, the thing about that is it was gonna happen. But y'all just broke the NDA about it, so oh, now it's probably not shit. gonna happen. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll still a, try, but like, you, there's always you just time. dug our grave. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I copied PM, so I can't be held liable. No, that means you're double liable. Okay, I don't make the rules, man. This is just how it is. I do make the rules. Uh, Shibuya Gato asks if you could date one fictional character, who is it and why? Have we had this? Have we like asked this before? No, we've been asked like hottest character. We were asked like first crush. Or yeah, first anime crush. Who was your lesbian awakening? Mm. I don't know. I I would have said Nami, but I I think I'd dick Nami down and then uh, I would wake up to my house being completely robbed the next morning. I would say yes. Nico Robin. No, I could never do that. I, I would be, I, I would, I would, I would, I would be afraid of like her sucking my dick, and then all of a sudden a phantom hand just being shoved up my asshole. No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't I'm do it. I'm afraid. I, 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 I have trauma, Medi. I don't want Stop. any more fingernails up there. No, I'm good. I'm good. I have the scars to prove it. That's right. She has. No, she has all natural nails. They're not the fake ones that'll pop off. Not that we know of. Maybe that's one of her powers. I don't know what her oh. gum fruit does. She right. I mean, if she wanted, she could make your hand appear inside of your stomach and beat the shit out of you from inside. No, I'm good. Hot. That's pretty hot. What about you, Jordan? What was the specific question? What was the specifics of the question? Because I want to say a guy. I said, if you could date one fictional character. Okay. Uh, Sankard Waters from 14. Oh, uh, uh, Midnight from uh, My Hero. All excellent ones. Oh, and, um,. Mandalay for my hero. Which one's Mandalay? As well. Is that one of the wild, wild pussycats? Yes, she's like the leader. Yeah, okay. I oh, don't remember for a second. I'm trying to think of guys. I know there's a lot of hot fictional guys that I thirst over. I can't remember any off the top of my head. Like Tiger from the wild, wild like the, pussycat. The, like the question is date. Yeah. So it's one of those things of like, oh, they got to be like a dateable material, not just like, you know. Yeah, that's true. I just say how the date ends. It could be whatever, man. Wink, wink. Pumpkin pie cookie from Cookie Run Kingdom. Ah, oh, shit. That's a good one. I'm quitting the podcast. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I, feel, I feel like we can do one more question. We have so many questions. There's so fucking many. I think maybe we should stop asking questions for like a week or two. Yeah, I think the next episode we're not going to ask your questions because there's so many to get through. Oh, it's fine. Oh, You're fine. Oh, the next... I didn't even realize how late into the month it was. Yeah. Next next episode's the last one we're recording for the year. It's also the, 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 the Christmas one. It'll come out a little after Christmas, but it'll be fine. Unbacked uh, asks, <clears throat> which fictional character would you say you were equal in strength to? fucking equal in strength I mean back in the day uh, I I would have bo uh, like boosted myself up a little bit but nowadays fucking uh, Onada from uh, Yoamushi Petal uh, Sinope from <laughs> Mucha Lucha <laughs> that was gonna be mine <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> since they don't have their powers in the real world you could technically be more powerful or less or as powerful as any persona protagonist uh yeah because they're high school kids yeah i don't know what I you're can... talking about you doesn't have any kind of crazy strength enhancement he's just got a sword he could beat the shit out of you i feel like i could beat up a high schooler with relative ease if you got a sword if i had a sword absolutely if they had a sword uh, I, don't, I don't know about that you think you could beat up ryuji I feel like I, okay, it's gonna be a specific point in time for a character. <laughs> Deku after he's cleared the beach, but before he's eaten all for one. 
No, oh, one for all. Are you kidding me? That kid was jacked. You couldn't beat that shit out of him. He's like 15. <laughs> He's like 15. Did you see those muscles? Yeah, yeah but he had some pretty good muscles. Yeah, but Jordan, here's the thing. At that point, he probably has control of like 1% of uh, one for all. No, no, be- before he eats all- one for all. So he's just a kid with muscles. Yeah, like, you walked by the beach and you saw a really muscly kid and, like, a, a skeleton man, and you're like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of that kid. Did you really not have one for all at that point? No, he did not. Nope. No, he got it it's after been, all the training. It's been so long, I don't remember anymore. Yeah. Pretty much, uh, after that scene, All Might gives him the hair and says, Eat this. Eat this. Cool. Eat this and then immediately go to the test right now. Go, go, go. Don't bother trying to learn your powers, just go. Random tangent. But mm-hmm. I remember an episode several seasons later, I think it was like two or three, where All Might was having a conversation in an office with uh, with Deku. Mm-hmm. And they had tea. And Deku's tea just had like one strand of hair bobbing up and down out of the fucking tea. So I'm like, does he need multiple hairs? Does All Might just continually feed him hairs until he's got all, all the power? No. No, but that'd be very funny. Have, I think you might have misread that as that tea bag as a I hair. Think, yeah, I think it, it was, was not. Tea bag, it was not a tea bag. Also, no way it was a tea bag. It was a tea bag. It was not a tea bag. I swear Maybe to God, All Might just has a fear fetish. It's fine. No, don't worry about it. I swear to God, it was a strand of fucking All Might's hair bobbing in and out of the tea. You know what also bobs in and out of uh, liquid? Mm. Boats. I don't think. I don't think you can classify what boats do in water as bobbing. No, you can. Really? Boats bob. I mean, it mm. makes more sense than jeffing. True. Hey yo. What's your what's your what's your what's your what's your fa- what's your facts? Let's, let's get this the fuck over with, please. Close to four and a half years after the original Titanic sunk, its sister ship, the Britannic, uh, sunk in the Agent C. That's. That's technically a boat fact, I guess. You get to live another day. Listen, it's, listen, it's, it's, it's fascinating how consistent you are with being inconsistent with your boat facts. Because some weeks they're awesome, and other weeks they're they're what you just gave well, me right now. <laughs> I, I'd like you to know that that boat fact was sent in by Cat. Jordan, how many fucking times do I need to yell at you <laughs> about taking other people's boat facts? Make up your own! I would rather you lie to me than uh, have other people do your job for you. Jordan, you are two for two for taking other people's facts. Their ass! Stop and do your job! You have one, one, one job! <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, I thank you all podcast. for listening. Thank hot. you all for listening. I'm trying. Uh, thank you all for listening to another wonderful episode of Dipships, the legitimate boating podcast. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Remember that podcast sink or swim on vo- word of mouth. So uh, make sure you spread this around with whoever you think will enjoy this podcast. Don't forget to support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash dipships pod. And uh, other things. You mean Patreon? Bitch, you're on b- bum. <laughs> Make sure Support to follow our us on, on Twitter. Hold on, hold on. And and did on one of PM's farts. Choose a random one. All right, let's see. Uh, let me go pull up. Let's. Uh, I think eight's let's, really good. Let's end it on uh fart number eight. Uh, thank you all for listening. We'll see you all in the nautical mile. Oh, <laughs> I hate that. Thank you. That was really disappointing. Wait, hold on. Pick, pick, pick another one. Uh, no, that's. Oh. <laughs> Wait. There we go. That's there a good one. Go. There you go. <laughs>